Hey, hey, Laura. You just, uh, chilling by the fire? How's Roth's leg doing? He's doing pretty good. Uh, hey, guys! What's up? Welcome to Tom Brader. Definitive Edition. In the last episode, we, we fought wolves. It was scary. We stabbed a wolf. That was fun. And we fixed up Broth's leg, who was missing a pretty big chunk. But in today's episode, we're going to be doing a little bit of mountain climbing. Because we need to es excavate, I think. Is that is that the right word? I don't know. But anyway, we have an upgraded pickaxe, and now we can climb rock walls. That's got to be fun, right? Look at that. We're climbing now. So now we're going to go a little bit further, because now we have to get to a radio tower. Uh, basically to create a signal so we can get the heck up out of here. This is plain and simple, guys. It's still raining. It's still cold. We're still wet, but hey. That's what survival's all about, right? Moisture, cold weather, and all that other good jazz. Alright. But aside from that, um... You gotta really wonder what Laura's mentality is going through all this stuff, you know? To, to live in constant fear. It's like, anything I come across is going to kill me. How should I feel about that? Ooh. We found a secret tomb. Well, I think we should probably go do it. Secret tomb! Because this wouldn't be a tomb. This wouldn't be Tom Brader if we didn't do tombs. So, let's go do it. Let's raid that tomb. Let's find all its inner secrets. What makes it special? What's it afraid of? What's its favorite food? I don't know. Do 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 tombs have favorite foods? <laughs> Your guess is a, those are bones. Those are bones. All right. Anyways, we're just gonna be doing a little bit of walking through here. You can hear the drips. It's very ambiotic, very soothing. There's some more bones. <laughs> That's just, for some reason skeletons always have that derpy face on their on them, and it's just it's funny to me. I found a campground, but now now is not the time to set up shop and roast marshmallows. Oh. Doki. Mm, you don't say, Lord. It looks like I'm holding a microphone. I'm ready to drop some beats. Sacrifice. Murder. Mm. There's no record of these kinds of rituals in ancient Yamatai. You, you're so knowledgeable, Lola. Waste from the tax. Light that torch. Lord of the flame. And there we go. Gotta lighten the load, as they say. Drop a couple LBs. There we go. Okay. Now, a puzzle solving, we will go. A puzzle solving, we will go. Let's see. Um. Oh. Eh. I probably should have jumped on that. Dang it. Wait, I got an idea. When in doubt, jump. Always works. Okay. Aha! We use our newly found skill to, to graze the wall. Climb it! Alright! There's a Triforce on that wall. Lots of Triforces. This ain't Zelda. This ain't Zelda. It's not. This right. may have been built in honor of her priestesses. Incredible. Wait a minute. Now this definitely feels like Zelda. Alright. Da -da 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 I, I don't want to get copyright strike for doing the Zelda music. Is she gonna hold it up like like Link does? Da -na -na -na. Oh, I was kind of hoping that she would. Tomb raided or Tom braided. Well done. We have raided our first braider, and now we exit like a champ. Ha! Yeah, I got a hole in my stomach. But I'm Lord Croft. I laugh at danger. Okay. Now that we've actually, like, you know, tommed our first braider, 
we can go ahead and continue on with the actual story. So here we go. I can't do that now. What are you talking about? I just pressed B. You, you, you can't, you can't press B. Map has been updated. I just want to run, Lara. Come on, just. Can you give me a little strut, a little, a little gallop, if you will? No. Yeah. So. You know, with that whole Zelda vibe and everything, I feel like all Laura needs is a magical instrument that'll help her travel through time. That'd be neat. Okay, so... We're climbing up this thing. Here we go. Here's a fun little question. Has anybody seen the movie Cliffhanger with Sylvester Stallone? It's a pretty, pretty awful movie. Pretty awful movie, gotta be honest. But, uh, it had its high moments. None, none that I would recommend. It's worth seeing more than once, but it had its good moments. Hey, you find anything? No, nothing. Okay. Nothing. Uh oh. There's, no one up here. There's trouble afoot. Okay. All right. Over here. Let's move inside. How did you see me? Happy birthday! Oh! Oh god! Okay. Aha! When in doubt, burn everything. It's a method that only the ancients know. But I am bestowing that knowledge on you today, guys. Ah, screw this! Yeah, he ain't getting up from that. <laughs> That'll learn you. Now I'm gonna take your stuff. Give me your give me what's in your pocket. Go. And supplies! We picked up a bick. I have spoken to some of Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure your tale is interesting, but we got Braiders to tell to Tom. Yeah. Tom Braider. That's that's the name of the game. That's what we're doing. Look at the chicken! I want the chicken! Can I shoot the chicken? No. Give me your stuff. Thank you. Alright. Uh, looks like we're headed up there. Eh. Nah. Up a body strength. That's what being in the gym would do for you. Woo! Hello. I can't like this. What kind of Lord of the Flame am I if I can't even like this? And we're jumping. We run in. All right, let's get some supplies. Burn, baby, burn. Thank you. All right, more rock climbing. Game mechanics. Okay. There we go. All right. This doesn't look sketchy at all. Yeah. You know, as I'm playing this, I gotta be honest with you guys. I'm pretty excited for Rise of the Tomb Raider! Oh god! <laughs> we mash that X button! I laugh in the face of danger. <laughs> Lara, are you there? Okay. Ryan, did you find Sam? We're still on her trail. I'm okay. I'm trying to send an SOS from an old radio tower up here. Any tips? Hey, Lara. You're gonna need to find the communications console. It'll look like a bunch of old switchboards. Okay. Sounds like a plan. I'll let you know when I find it. All right. So I have to send an SOS. That's a that's a song, isn't it? Sending out an SOS. Yeah, that's a song. Uh oh. You don't got an intruder. You don't need to do this. Well, if you guys are gonna be butts. And you could. Uh, okay, well, I was gonna burn you, but. How do you like bullets? Do you like bullets? Dang it. Right between the teeth. Alright, pop out for me. Holy crap! Hey, 
That guy was gonna stab me. Pop that one. Well, that worked out well. Give me your goods. Thank you. And thank you. All right. So now I have enemies with arrows, guns, and fire. No problem. No problem. But yeah, like I was saying, just playing this again, just, I don't know, I'm it's just getting me super psyched for Rise of the Tomb Raider. Because it's basically... With a bad feeling about this. It's basically, from what I'm gathering from it, from what I'm seeing, it's basically... It's Uncharted, just with Lara Croft. And I'm okay with that. Because a lot of people's like, it's just copying Uncharted. Well, technically, Uncharted copied Tomb Raider first. Because as a lot of people don't know, like, the code name for Uncharted was called Dude Raider before they had an actual name for it. And it was just like a guy like Lara Croft. That's a fun little fact for you. Something that you probably didn't know, but now you know. We're gonna watch some home movies now. And I'm still cold. Standing by a fire. I'm telling you, Ray, it's but a mechanical, not an electrical problem. He's now, reading manga. Alex. Nerd! I like manga. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, this oh. looks like it might be a, an electrical problem. You think? <laughs> oh, hello. Hey. Is this little fox, oh, huh? Yeah. She's cute, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Very cute. Yeah. Alicia. Alicia. It's my like daughter. That. Oh. 14 years old. And smaller oh. than you'll ever be. Well, when you read must, manga, must you're used to a young-looking face. I mean, come on. Don't it's give me the attention. And... Yeah. I'll take a look at this. Probably electrical. From her father. <laughs> so I was on the walk, right? Doing a spot of midnight fishing. Hey, Grim. Time to button down the hatches. We've seen a lot of crap on our deck. Because right? they're, cause they're Irish and they're sailors, right? Out of the water was. So I give her a old Glasgow kiss, you know. <laughs> Glasgow sure kiss. I like that. that, ten, that does. Took me a week to sleep that night off. I have not touched a drop since. See you at dinner, Sam. Oh, so it's Sam filming. Oh, suka suka now. I know what they're gonna do. <laughs> Alright, can we Did a bit of the please? sideways tango. Thank you. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take three, and action. Okay, now take a firm grip and then slice him down the belly like this. Yeah, you got. Good Lord, cut, 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 cut. It's a fish, man. It's not. It's not a person. Is, is he coming back? <sighs> I'll go get him. Exasperated. That's your word of the day, guys. Use the word exasperated in a sentence. So he's just a puss. Is that what I'm gathering from this? Yes. Damned reality TV business. I'm, I'm meant to be bringing culture to the people, Sam, not dinner. Uh, no offense, Jonah. It's okay, brother. The audience demands content, Dr. Whitman. You know that. So until we find the Lost Kingdom, we need footage like this. Yeah. Come on, let's just take it from the top, okay? No one really watches your lame We're show anyway. Make you look like Gordon Ramsay in editing. It's rotten! Dr. James Isn't Whitman, that Gordon filler Ramsey 15, says? take four. I don't know. I've never Action. watched Hell's Kitchen. Okay, so. now take a firm grip and then slice him down the belly like that. I've studied them so much. I can see charts on the back of my eyelids. But if I'm not right about Yamatai being in the Dragon's Triangle... I remember when you found that one of your father's digs. You ran up and showed it to me dressed in your penguin pajamas. <laughs> I was five <laughs> years old. It was my first find. Yeah. You've got great instincts, girl. You just have to trust them. Mm. That's what my father used to say. Now, there was a man that ran on instinct. For better or worse. He was a good man. He would have been so proud of you, Lara. We're getting closer to the storm. Her hair looks great. Well, whatever's coming, we'll get through it, eh? <laughs> it's like, I know they built physics just around her hair for this version, but very nice. Looks good. That's a good sense. Okay, Lara. 
Pull yourself together. All right. Well, I think this is a good stopping point. We got a little bit of film footage. We did some hunting. And I shot a couple guys, so that's fun. Uh, but in the next episode, guys, we're making our way to that radio tower. It's probably going to still be raining. And there probably will be still tombs to raid. But we'll get through it. So in the next one, we're going to head that way to the radio tower. So I hope you wonderful folks will join me for the next one. Because it's going to be a lot of fun. So as always, guys, remember, this was Tom Brader, Definitive Edition. I have been Benchez. If you enjoyed what you saw, click the little buttons down there. Tell me what you thought. And I will see you beautiful folks in the next one. I love all your faces. See you next time. See you later.